Hello friends, all the images you see in this video are the result of Adobe Firefly Artificial Intelligence. In this video, we're going to create stunning images using Adobe Firefly AI without the need for Photoshop. Now, Adobe Firefly is available to us for free and online, allowing us to utilize its features without any cost. Iman Global YouTube Channel We start by visiting the Adobe Firefly website. We create a completely free account on the Adobe website and then log in. After that, we'll have access to the diverse capabilities of Adobe Firefly AI. This is the Adobe Firefly page, and you can see the capabilities of this artificial intelligence here. One of the features of Adobe Firefly AI is the text-to-image system. By clicking on the Generate option, we enter this system. Prompt number one. On this page, we have a text box where I paste my prompt, and now I click on the Generate button to create images based on this prompt. I click on one of the images to display them in a larger size and review them. Now, I'm changing the settings to achieve better results. From the right side menu in the Style section, under the Popular tab, I choose the Digital Art option. In the Movements tab, I set the option to Science Fiction. Under the Themes tab, I select Concept Art and 3D Art. In the Techniques tab, I enable the Bold Lines option. In the Effects tab, I set the Bokeh effect. In the Concepts tab, I choose Beautiful. I also set the Aspect Ratio to Widescreen. New images are generated based on these settings. With some adjustments in the settings and even a slight modification in the prompt, we can achieve better results with Artificial Intelligence Firefly. Now, I click on the Refresh button to generate newer images. Perhaps the next images will be better. By clicking on one of the images, we can view it in a larger size and analyze it. I achieved better results by spending more time and using the Refresh button, which you will see below. Prompt number two. I clear the previous prompt and paste the second prompt into the text box. Using the Clear Styles button, I also remove all the previous settings. Now, I set the content type to Art. By clicking on one of the images, we examine them in a larger size. I make some adjustments to enhance the results. In the Popular section, I choose the Digital Art option. In the Movement section, I select Science Fiction. Under Themes, I pick Concept Art. For Techniques, I set Bold Lines. In the Concept section, I choose Beautiful. Now, I change the content type to Graphic. New images are generated. We review them. I managed to achieve better results by spending more time and using the refresh button, which you will see below. Prompt number three. I clear the previous prompt and remove all the previous settings using the Clear Styles button. I paste the next prompt into the text box. From the right side panel, I set the content type to graphic. The images are created by Adobe Firefly AI. We review them. I make some adjustments to achieve better results. From the right side panel and in the Styles section, I choose the Digital Art option under Popular. In the Movements section, I set Science Fiction. Under Themes, I choose Concept Art and 3D Art. In the Techniques section, I set Bold Lines. In the Effects section, I select Bokeh Effect. In the Materials section, I choose Metal. In the Concept section, I set Beautiful. Now, I click the Generate button. Images are generated. Let's review them.
By spending time, adjusting settings, and using the refresh button, I achieved different results, which you will see below. Prompt number four. I use the clear styles button to remove all the previous settings. I delete the previous prompt and paste the new prompt into the text box. In this task, I want to undertake a challenging project and put Adobe Firefly's capabilities to the test. I want to see to what extent it can transform animals into robotic forms and whether it can visualize this idea. Let's see if Adobe Firefly AI can rise to this challenge or not. From the right side panel, I set the content type to art. There are captivating images generated. Let's review them. I am truly amazed. Considering that Firefly is free and has such visualization power, I prefer this AI over Midjourney. Let's tweak the settings a bit. From the right side panel and in the Styles section, I choose the Digital Art option under Popular. In the Movement section, I set Science Fiction. Under Themes, I select Concept Art. In the Techniques section, I set Bold Lines. In the Effects section, I select the Bokeh Effect option. In the Materials section, I choose Metal. In the Concepts section, I set Beautiful. Now, I set the Content Type to Graphic. Let's allow ourselves to review the images. These images have left me astonished. The settings we applied have resulted in an improved final outcome. By clicking on the refresh option, the AI, Adobe Firefly, generates a new set of images with the same settings. Let's give them a test. The new images are truly captivating. Let's review them in a larger size. By spending more time, making slight adjustments in settings, and using the refresh button multiple times, I arrived at interesting images, which I'll show you in the following. Which image, created by Firefly, was more appealing to you? Can you optimize the prompts? If you found this video useful, please like and comment. To not miss out on upcoming tutorials, subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell. I'll be waiting for you in the next video. Emma on Global YouTube Channel.